The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This is Ronald with Win911. I've got Brian Arda, our new application engineer here. He's going to talk to us about uh, some broader applications for our solution. Historically, we've been really, really well known in the water wastewater uh, section, which alarming goes way past just water and wastewater. And we'll kind of talk about two the focus on getting away from just alarming and critical events to how to apply this more broadly uh, to benefit both the end user and you, our integrated distributor partners. All right, Brian, take us away. Thank you. Uh, once again, my name is Brian Arda, um, new application engineer engineer here today. And uh, we're going to be discussing a couple of user applications we have beyond the water and wastewater industry. And after we get started, folks, uh, as you have questions, feel free to type them in the chat, and we will keep an eye on that, and we'll uh, get to them towards the very end. Okay, a quick look at our agenda. We'll be discussing the overall Win911 notification process, and we'll be walking through the value that we add to the end users. I have a couple case studies we'll be discussing, so you can start thinking outside the box of where Win911 can tie into your control system, and at the end, we'll be taking some quick Q&A. Stepping outside of the wastewater and water industry, we do serve a variety of different industries, including all these shown on the screen. And really, Win91 can be tied into any system, any, anywhere that there's a SCADA system. We've had different applications from a lot of well-known brands, including Ford, Kraft, Pfizer, Nestle, NASA, and 3M. So let's take a quick look at a typical uh, notification and control process, or SCADA control process. Imagine you're controlling and monitoring some system. It could be anything from a consumer packaged goods system, uh, automotive plant, oil and gas pipeline, power plant, or any other system. So what really happens if uh, a notification or alarm event happens? Some of these events could include something like a packaging jam, a motor overheating, maybe a sensor is out of calibration, there's a routine maintenance required, or a tank, full. a tank is full. When these events happen, you have downtime. You're losing not only lost productivity, but money. And as a quick note, when you're talking to your end users about this and they don't know their cost per hour of downtime, I would just ask them. That's a really, really easy way to justify the cost of you know the labor, the software, everything involved. Uh, because spending four grand once a year compared to, I don't know, a thousand dollars an hour of downtime, it uh, doesn't really compare as to the value we're bringing uh, when you look at the, the downtime being saved. When these notifications go off, you start to ask yourself, all right, who do I notify? Do you want to call maintenance, text a technician, email an engineer, or contact a supervisor immediately? And you also don't know where is this person? Are they in a plant in the uh, control room, on the call, or on uh, the phone call, or wherever they might be. Um, how do you know this person, notify this person? And you start asking yourself this long process. It looks, begins to look something like this. It's very cumbersome. You have to figure out where are they, how you know, notify them. Do I get to the right person? Does this person even know the system? Do they know how to troubleshoot and fix the issue? While you're answering all these questions, you continue to lose that downtime and lost product and lost productivity. And you keep going through this loop until you eventually get to the right person you can fix your issue. So what we've done at Win91, we've taken this cumbersome process and we made it easy. How are we doing this? We, we utilize our four different notification methods, including your voice, uh, email, a mobile app, and SMS. We have an advantage over competitors by being the only notification software to be partnered with Rockwell, GE, and Wonderware. So this partnership is an extreme advantage over competition because it allows us to engage in what's called a direct connect notification method. This method allows us to both receive and acknowledge alarms. However, if you don't have a Rockwell, GE, or Wonderware system, you're still able to connect to Win911 Win using an OPC connection. Whichever way you choose, we make sure to get the notifications to the right person. Next, we'll be taking a look at what I like to call the notification ecosystem, making sure we deliver the right notification to the right person, and what value does this bring to each person. Earlier in our application, on our slide, I discussed a technician and what this means to have bringing a, notif a notification directly to a te technician. In doing so, 
you're able to have this technician respond faster and reduce downtime. This can improve efficiency and uh, the overall flow of the organization by, uh, and also save money throughout the process by reducing this downtime. One key takeaway I'd like to point out though is that technicians don't only have to be notified if a critical system is down or if there's a really big failure. You can proactively notify a technician to do such things as um, maybe there's regular routine maintenance on a motor or some other system you might need to keep up. Maybe you need to refill um, a hopper feeder or some other um, piece of equipment. If you proactively notify this person, they can address these issues before the system is fully down. Our next user you could potentially notify might be an engineer. It doesn't matter if it's a quality person, electrical engineer, an instrumentation technician, automation engineer, whichever the discipline, notifying an engineer of, um, of an issue or just providing them more visibility in the system can allow them to improve their overall system operation. How can they do this? They can do this by being more aware of when, what points of failure you're having a system. Check for quality, and in doing so, you, you can uh, begin to plan future system upgrades. Again, it's a common misconception that we're not only we're only used for critical alarm notifications because you can proactively notify this person to give them more visibility into the system and improve your overall efficiency. Another user you can notify is the manager. What happens if your technician, your engineer, your maintenance, whoever might might be, isn't responding to alarm? You can use our software to directly escalate uh, to a manager so they can get the right person to there or uh, eventually work to rework their schedule so they can know what times of day problems are occurring and uh, readdress their schedule so that they have the right people there at the right time. Providing more visibility into the system for the manager uh, allows them to prove the overall flow of your operation. One user that's often forgot about is a security or a front desk personnel. Sometimes issues that occur are outside the realm of your people who are typically operating and controlling the system. For example, what happens if, uh, if there's an emergency, something like a gas leak or uh, somebody has a health emergency, a heart attack or a cardiac event, you, you can um, use your system to notify uh, a first responder system by providing them direct notifications. And guys, you know, Brian talked about preventative maintenance. He has an engineering background. It's a really, really uh, good use case. A lot of times we see that, you know, big things happen. You find out about it as it's happening. When had you known a week, two weeks before, had you been notified, you could have stayed ahead of that. So one thing that we like to see that some of our uh, integrator partners are starting to do is they will include themselves as one of the people to be notified on certain alarms, that way they have visibility into some of the higher priority things that they've helped to put in place. As most of you know, there's no one person that can run a facility. It takes lots of different groups, from hardware folks to software folks to the plant folks to the management to everybody to make everything up and running. And again, getting the right people, the right visibility at the right time will only help all those involved. So next I'm going to dive into the case studies throughout an array of industries I'll be showing here today. Again, uh, SCADAs are widely used in the food and beverage industry. So since we tie into the SCADAs, it's a perfect opportunity for Win91 to uh, use our notifications. In this industry, you can use Win91 to reduce your downtime, increase worker productivity, and improve their all system awareness. Our first application is from Tyson Foods. Uh, this is a case study we have. All these stories we'll be talking about are case studies we've done with these companies. But it's a meat, meat packaging uh, facility in Wisconsin. And their process involves a variety of equipment, including your cutting, cooking, chilling, and packaging equipment. Originally, their process involved the operators visually monitoring the process. And then if, and if an issue occurred, they had a manually call someone to get the right person there. At this particular facility, if, if an issue occurred, it required the support of both engineering and IT. So there's some staffing issues, making sure you have the right people on staff to take care of the system, regardless of what time of day. This facility, uh, Tyson Foods, packaged over 300 million pounds of meat per year. At this quantity, imagine how much money and lost productivity you have if the system goes down. 
what we did is we tied in our Win911 system to allow uh, email no notification directly to the IT and engineering staff as an issue occurred. These notifications were, were related to such equipment, including tank levels, temperature, and pressure systems. When something happened, the engineers and uh, IT people were directly notified so they could address the issues. Prior to tying in 1911, they had a lot of lost productivity and they had staffing problems because they, they didn't know when the issue might recur and if somebody was going around to take care of it. Their satisfaction with the Wind 9 system can be summarized in the following quote. This is from the Senior Engineer of Innovation. In addition to helping ease compliance, the capabilities have allowed the facility to save $100,000 in wastewater chemicals. The added visibility allowed us to see where inefficiencies were happening so we could adjust and refine our process. And guys, most of you have been in this industry for a while. <clears throat> Uh, Brian mentioned a couple of key points there. One was around staffing. Think about how many of your end users have staffing issues. As people get promoted, get let go, they retire, we have a younger workforce coming in, how many places need additional staffing? From what I've heard, every single place has a staffing issue, right? But where technology comes in, it's gonna help you to leverage more by using less. And having, them, having the staff uh, manually monitor things it's just not efficient given the staffing issues and given that it's 2018. So with the software, that kind of provides that automated, that digital eyes on stuff. That way, again, you can do more with less. That's a great reason to call your customers. Hey, we've kind of seen this. There's staffing issues. There's latency in um, alarm notification and response time. How do we connect those dots and solve business problems to get you that complete solution? They will love you to death for being that solution-focused partner, not the necessarily the product-focused one. Okay, so diving into our next application, we're going to be talking about the building management system. Uh, in the building management industry, Win91 provides awareness about operations and how the overall um, building is operating. This in could include such things as your maintenance and an emergency response event. If anyone knows that new building, it's the uh, rebuilt World Trade Tower in New York City, which opened in 2014. This site that they built includes uh, such things for skyscrapers, office buildings, a museum, transportation hub, and retail space. What Win911 did, we partnered with Pinnacle Wireless to create a world-class first responder radio system. Going back to our security staff that I was talking about earlier, they utilized this system, our Win911 system, so they could tie in this radio network to directly contact your police, your fire, and your paramedics in the event of emergency. So imagine the value that that could bring. If something's going down, you can get the right person and the staff there to get, take, take care of a major issue. The oil and gas industry, this is an industry I used to previously work in, and I can tell you from first-hand experience how Remote the industry is, and oftentimes the extraction, transportation, and production of oil and gas occurs in these remote areas. Because of the re remote nature of this industry, it often takes a long time for people to respond to events and, and issues. Notifying the right individual of an issue can increase the overall system performance and save time. Take a look at our um, case study with a partner called uh, West Texas Gas. They're a natural gas service provider, which they distribute, transmit, and gather natural gas. This company operates in, obviously, West Texas and parts of uh, Oklahoma, and they have about 5,000 miles of natural gas, natural gas pipelines. The original process, again, involved operators visually monitoring the system, and if a pro problem occurred, they had to notify a technician. This resulted in delayed response times, and in this industry, they're responsible for, they're responsible for reporting any issues with the system that may, may be hazardous to the environment. Sometimes, because of these missed issues, they are fined late fees for not reporting these issues within a timely fashion. What we did, we tied in our system, our Win911 system, and we were able to monitor all this, all this equipment you see on the screen, including your compressors, your flow sensors, and pressure sensors. Now, if something went wrong, went wrong with the process, 
you could automatically notify the technician and they could get out there to address the issue. So prior to, prior to tying in Win 901, West Texas Gas had a very inefficient maintenance process. They were having to go out there and check these systems and just do a visual inspection rather than uh, responding in time of, of event. So by tying in our system, West Texas Gas was able to improve their overall worker efficiency and they no longer wasted money on these late fees and reports. When an issue occurred, they knew about it up front and they were able to address it. And guys, kind of, and guys and gals, everybody, kind of the reason we wanted to talk about this was because, again, we're very, very known for water, wastewater, but every uh, industry and vertical has its own particular set of needs and concerns. For example, on the water, wastewater, money and prices is a concern. You know, municipalities, they don't have the budgets of your big oil and gas. Uh, on the flip side, even when times are bad, there's still money in oil and gas. When times are good, there's a lot more money in oil and gas. So you're not approaching them talking about price, but you are approaching them talking about efficiencies and how to better, again, leverage uh, more by doing less. And these are great conversation starters for your existing customers. Hey, what are you doing around this? We're hearing X, Y, Z. Trying to break into new accounts? Hey, industry trends say this, this, and this. Let's talk about how you handle these kinds of things and how you're notifying the right people. Either way, it makes you that value-added partner who's going to have you know, your client's best interest at heart by understanding and recommending solutions to enable their business. All right, our next industry we'll be discussing is the power generation. And in this industry, you often have big, heavy industrial equipment. So monitoring the process uh, is important because you could have safety issues and potentially a loss of power. What could that mean to your customers and your overall process? This application comes from a small lumber company, lumber and building supply company called Bethel Mills. They're actually the oldest continually operating business in, uh, in Vermont. And what they have is they utilize a hydroelectric uh, plant in order to power their, as a source of electricity for their mill. What they did here is their main operation is this mill, but they use this for electricity. So what they have is the staff routinely was visiting this plant to make sure there's any maintenance, safety, or uh, any other issues that they need to address. What's going on is these workers could be used for other things instead of routinely checking out the system. Uh, basically, there's a loss productivity because of tracking back and forth, and it's just overall inefficient procedure. You can see on here they have the hydroelectric dam. Uh, I just tried to mock up here. And they're monitoring different things, including your pumps, your compressors, your flashboards. And now, by tying in Win 901, if an issue occurs, the technician was able to be directly notified. Uh, this provided uh, extreme value because now they didn't have to routinely go back to check to see if, okay, is everything running? Is the, is the plant on fire? Is there a safety issue? Now they're able to better, to better monitor this equipment. And going back to staffing everybody, again, lots of places don't have the proper staff that's needed. So if you can free up a person or two to not have to go and do visual checks on a regular basis, then you're now freeing them up to go do something else that's even higher value add, which is kind of a, a double bang for your buck. So prior to us, again, they were routinely uh, monitoring this process by going out and checking it. Um, but overall, this, this application can be summarized by a quote from the Bethel Mills technology manager. He's quoted by saying, the Win 91 alarm notification system allowed me to efficiently oversee the remote power generation plant. This provided extreme value because it freed up more workers uh, to do different details instead of walking back and forth and checking this plant and checking the overall status. The next application comes from science research and overall life science. Uh, Win91 has been placed in a couple of science and research facilities. It doesn't matter what the product, the process, or what you're trying to monitor is. It can be anything from animals used for lab research to monitoring beam lines, as I'll be discussing in this next uh, application. All right, the European Secretron Radiation Facility it's located in Grenoble, France, and it's backed by 22 partner countries. This facility is actually used to produce the world's most intense x-rays used for research. 
Prior to using Win911, the alarms were vocalized over, uh, over speakers in a control room 24 hours a day. If necessary, the person in the control room then had to manually call whoever is in charge of the system or could, or could address the issue to take care of the problem. Again, this goes back to that loop of where is this person? Are they on call? Are they in the building? You're going through this loop when you have downtime on your system. You could be using it for your research. So it's a very inefficient process, and there's a big communication gap between the uh, researchers and the operators using the beam line. To reduce these inefficiencies, we tied in our Win91 system. And this allowed the, the beamline operators to directly um, be notified in the event of an issue. This could include anything related from your HVAC to your electrical equipment, or even if your system was not operating in an optimal state. As a result of tying in our system, we were able to increase the overall worker productivity and increase the visibility between the beamline operators and the researchers. The implementation can be summarized by a quote from the ESRF Infrastructure Division Engineer. Win911 ensures that every event is handled appropriately and in a timely fashion. We depend on Win911's reliability. Again, thinking outside the box with some of our notifications, and that's what we're trying to display here. You may not work in all these industries, but it's to try to demonstrate different applications you can do and how it could possibly tie into your system. One application we can use our product for is for just direct employee notification, um, and directly employee notification and deploying employees for uh, different applications, as you'll see here in this next uh, demonstration. The village of Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin is located in the southeast corner, uh, just near the tip of Illinois. And what they needed is they needed a, a method to dispatch their snowplow drivers as the snow came. It's basically what they had prior to us, they had a, a manual phone book where they would call up uh, uh, snowplow drivers and dispatch them as the snow came in. This was a, a big process because not only did the dispatcher have to go through and call up all these people to come in and start plowing the roads regardless of what time of day. But the dispatcher is also responsible for monitoring the overall snow plowing process and knowing what lots have been done, where it needs to go, and, and things of that nature. So it was a very inefficient process and it resulted in delayed response times of the drivers getting on the road. What they did with us, they tied in a our Win911 system. They've created a a tear matrix that you can see over here in the left hand corner, they were able to set up a list of all the drivers who would be on call and who you'd notify as the snow started to come. As things happened, they would go ahead and deploy this list. And this allowed them to get the drivers on the road uh, much faster. Our process was able to increase your overall efficiency and uh, allow the dispatcher to be freed up to monitor the overall snow plowing, snow plowing process instead of working, in, working through a manual book to see who's going to come in and start plowing the roads. Their satisfaction, again, can be summarized in the following quote. If snow is predicted, the foreman can check to see who is available in order to set out a call list in advance. Then when the time comes, he can submit and start the call out. And how many of your end users have a manual process like that that could have time saved? Uh, I recently visited a, a couple of uh, good-sized pharma companies, <clears throat> and they had security personnel calling out on alarms, which is not dissimilar from things that I've seen in other places. Maybe it wasn't security personnel, but maybe it was an admin-type person. The issues they had were very, very similar in that there wasn't enough context they would call, give them what information they had, and if it wasn't good enough, then there was more time having to have that conversation about, okay, well, what is it? When did it happen? Asking questions they didn't know the answers to, and again, delaying that response time. With the system, it gets them what they need, and it happens so much quicker and more efficiently because it's automated, not with a person you're relying upon to go down a manual list, uh, hoping they remember you know, who should be called when, and at what time, and through what method. Uh, going back to Brian's previous slide above, Notification process is very, very complicated. Our goal is to make it easy by automating these things that a person would have to do step by step by step. Very good. So our final 
case study is in the application area of the disaster prevention is probably one of my favorite applications we have because it shows the value of what we know one can really do. It really thinks outside the box. Mount Ruha Peyu is an active volcano in northern New Zealand. Between eruptions, this, this creates a crater. It hardens over, and then the rock surrounds this, this crater. And ice, snow, uh, rock, other debris eventually fall into this crater. What happens is, as the water builds up around the crater, uh, the, the dam around the crater basically eventually will break. And when this happens, it, it will cause water, mud, trees, debris, and other things to rush down the, out, rush down the mountain. You can imagine what, hap what would happen is this rushes down the mountain, what kind of safety and uh, hazards this would create. What happened originally was authorities would routinely uh, inspect this volcano to understand the risk of the, the crater breaking and this event happening. What we did is we worked with the New Zealand Civil Defense uh, Authority because they recognized a need for some kind of environmental monitoring process. Our system was tied into a bigger process, and we were able to monitor the vibration around the crater uh, and the water level sensors around this dam. This way, if the crater breaks, authorities uh, were immediately notified, and any locals who uh, subscribe to our subscribe to the notification could notification could be notified as the event occurred. In 2007, this act, this event actually took action. The 950 long crater broke, and a, a mix of water, ash, and debris uh, ran down the mountain. They call this, I believe, it's lahar is the, the terminology for it. And in doing so, the 911 system responded as expected, and they were able to notify notify the authorities, close the roads, and the townspeople of the issues that had happened. The New Zealand Civil Defense Minister was quoted by saying, the warning systems worked as designed and the alerts went to the rest of the community and the people adopted the appropriate procedures. Wind 911 was part of basically saving lives and um, saving other property damage that could have occurred. All these uh, user stories I presented are part of case studies we've done with these different, um, I guess you could say partners we work with. All these studies are actually provided on our website, and it's located under the Resources tab. Some of the other stories, uh, case studies we have include industries from pharmaceutical, the military, science, and building management. In addition, we're inviting you to bring us any of your other uh, Win911 user stories, and we will, we will reward you a finder's fee. Um, we're, we're just overall very interested in uh, learning how our, how our software is being applied throughout the world. And then, guys, with that and gals, um, we don't expect you to do the hard work. If you have a, a client who's willing to do it, just call us and we'll interview them, ask the questions, get it all written up. We just need you to make that warm introduction for us. So, I mean, it'll take you five minutes maybe just to ask somebody and we'll do the rest from there. Another, issue, another topic I'd like to discuss today is uh, based on some feedback we've had from questionnaires and talking to distributors and our partners, there's been a request for co-branded uh, marketing materials. After this webinar, you'll not only receive a link to this webinar, but you'll re be receiving a copy of this co-branded material. Now you can quick and easy drop and replace your name and put it next to ours. And you can use this for your marketing materials, for whether email marketing, uh, trade shows, or whatever it might be. And yeah, we want to work with you. So let us know kind of what you need. You need marketing materials, you need an email crafted, do you want to do a joint webinar? You want us to come out there because you have customers who want to have a lunch and learn, something like that. We're here to help do the heavy lifting. So we don't expect you to know our product as well as we know it. So again, rely on us. We have plenty of resources here to help you out and just let us know how we can uh, help you have those discussions and move things along with each of your uh, clients. I'm going to summarize this uh, with our value st statement for Win911. And as a reminder, Win91 can be tied into any skater wherever it might be used. You might not have worked in any of these industries that I discussed today, but it's overall to provide you an example of how we can go think outside the box and what notification really means to people. It might mean lost downtime, it might mean saving money, it might mean saving lives. It's just a matter of removing those inefficient processes and getting the right people involved in the process, whatever it might be. So today, we took a quick look at some packaged goods from Tyson, uh, building management from the World Trade Towers, 
Life Sciences from ESRF, the Municipalities of Wisconsin, and Disaster Prevention from New Zealand. I'd also like to take a moment to remind you that notifications don't only have to occur for reactive events. If we think proactively about notifications, we can uh, perform a regularly scheduled maintenance, maybe we send a reminder, reorder some stocks so you don't shut down the process. Whatever it might be, we're here to provide the value by bringing the right notification to the right person every time. Once again, my name is Brian Arda, and I'm an application engineer here at Win 911. This year in 2018, we'd like all of our partners and customers to know that we're dedicated to improving how we do business as a company. Um, we're working to improve our overall process, including how we do business with systems integrators, distributors, and customers, and we're, interested, we're working on improving our technical performance of our product. If you'd like to learn more about some of the things we are working on, please feel free to contact me, and my information is provided on the slide. Thank you for joining us for the session today, and I'll now open it up for any questions you may have. And